Hello, what's up? Welcome to another reading of yours. This is the Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So, the first card we have is the Temperance on here. I feel this person right now is just trying to stay away from any kind of drama, any kind of chaos, any kind of toxic situation. Alright. This could also mean that if you are creating a lot of drama in this person's life, if your existence of your connection is creating a lot of drama in this person's life, this person out here is just wanting to stay the fuck away. You know, they just want to keep it away. They like it all. Um, they like it very smooth sailing. Okay, they, they're not the best at uh, entertaining drama. Okay, which is why probably there are chances you're not in touch with them. There are chances they're not in contact with you or they're just trying to take their own time. They just want to stay cool, calm, collected. Okay, like very, like, uh, very balanced. Okay, and uh, they just want it very peaceful between you both here. So wherever your situation is, they're like, you know what, let's just keep it where it is. Whether you're broken up, whether you're uh, not talking to them, whether you're in this relationship with them, but they're probably just like, you know, not entertaining any of your bullshit or they're just staying away from any kind of arguments right now. I feel that this person out here try right now in their feelings, they just want it like, shh. They just want it very quiet around them, okay? They're just trying to be very balanced out here. They're not getting into any impulsive moves. With the Seven of Cups here, this is telling me that this person out here is having a lot of wishful thinking, okay? So no matter how badly they think about you, no, how, no matter how badly they daydream about you, no matter how bad they um, dream about being with you, whatever it is, okay? So the Seven of Cups is usually the wishful thinking card, okay? Where they're just constantly thinking about you, they want you, they were thinking about what we can do together, etc., okay? But this is someone here who's imagining, fantasizing, okay, day and night, but they're just not doing anything about it. Why? Because again, you could be creating a lot of drama in their life or just being with you is very toxic or just very dramatic, which is why they're like, you know what? Yes, I want this, this is with um, Leo, but let's just keep, let's just, Keep a distance is what I'm getting here. But they're not doing anything about it. No matter how much they want you, no matter how much emotions they have for you, they're just like very confused. They don't know what approach to take towards you. They don't know if they should approach towards you or they're just procrastinating right now. Keep just whatever. They could even have a lot of options out here. I'm not getting that so much. Let's clarify. What's the seven of cups here? Why is the seven of cups here? Too many cards. Give me the seven of cups here. Okay. The world. So, uh, this person out here, probably there could be um, a phase that has ended between you both is what I'm getting. Okay. With the world card out here, I feel that there could be a cycle that ended between you both here. Okay. Probably that cycle was very, very toxic, very negative. This person probably wants a brand new cycle with you, okay? They want a brand new phase with you here. But right now, they're very, very confused about what they should do with you. According to me, I think the person is trying to stay away from you because there's just too much drama out here, okay? They don't want to entertain drama. Although they know things ended between you both here in some in a very dramatic way. If it hasn't, there could be that a chance that you guys are not talking. But yes, they're very confused about how to start this new beginning with you, although you mean a lot to them, okay? You mean the world to them. With the Nine of Pentacles here, this person in their feelings. I think this person is very happy where they are. Okay, happy, uh, not emotionally, not like this person has a lot of options. Happy in a way where I feel you're dealing with someone here who likes to be very single. They like to be on their own. They're not someone who is the best at commitment. This person here is very independent. Their state of mind is very uh, self-sufficient, okay? So what I'm getting here is that this person here is very relaxed. They're feeling very good about themselves out here, which is why this person feels they have all the time in the world to come towards you and claim you. Okay, so uh, you're dealing with someone here who probably is very, uh, is in their comfort zone, okay? This is someone here who's in their comfort zone. They have everything that they need. See, that's the nine out here, right? You need one more pentacle in order to be in a relationship or in a, be in a committed relationship with someone. I think this person here enjoys not coming out of their world, their own world that they've created, their world of independence. This person fears losing their independence out here is what I'm getting. And you could be someone here who could be constantly creating drama in their life, either because you wanted commitment or because even if this person was in a relationship with you, they would still act single. Okay. Uh, but right now, I feel that they're not in a very giving energy. All right. They're not in the place. They're not coming in a place where... Um, um, 
they wa- they're not wanting to invest into a relationship right now okay which is why either they've have got options or uh, they're just very confused maybe if things have ended between you both you right now probably they're just in their feelings they wanted to keep it where it is all right what are this person's intentions towards leo came with this person's intentions towards leo my mocha <laughs> okay we have the emperor here you are dealing with a tough nut to crack okay i'm just going to tell you this is someone who's very rigid all right someone who's very rigid very stubborn they lack that flexibility you know they want to control you or they want to control the way the situation goes or they want to control the way the relationship rolls so they want to talk to you today let's talk they don't want to talk to you tomorrow let's not talk you can't move them you can't make them do what you want to do they want to do what they want to do and they will decide the mood of the relationship it's all according to them okay honestly the emperor is a very very um stubborn energy there could also be another thing i'm getting here you could have blocked for some of you i feel you could have blocked this person out here okay so there's like this ego tussle going on between you both here in their intentions they're like no they're very firm they're putting their feet down, they're putting their foot down and they're like my way or the highway there's no compromise from their side so right now if you are uh, you block them or you're not talking to them they're not going to talk to you too although now look at this Look at how stubborn your person is. For the King of Cups here, this is someone here who loves you to the moon and back. This person loves you a lot, but their ego is stopping them from opening up about their emotions. This is someone here who thinks it's best to hold back their emotions, zip it up, okay? Can their emotions and not open up about it because they just think it's more clever, it's more wiser to just uh have a good hold on their emotions they don't want to come off as impulsive so if you see their intentions they absolutely um no action intentions okay because we have the t- last card as the two of swords here this person knows that they need to break the ice out here is what i'm getting here okay but they're just being stubborn asses right now they love you a lot but they're not going to let you know So yeah there could be a lot of silent treatment between you both here if you are in a relationship with this person you know this person could just probably wait for you to come towards them okay even if you go towards them there are chances they're still going to give you they, they want to control the outcome the, the, the way they want it to okay with the overall card here with the 7 of swords here i don't think this this is not a positive card but yes it's not like i wouldn't say it's a bad card out here looking at the way that they love you uh it's just like they're intentions are very hidden okay that's a very sneaky energy it's an intention where their agenda is to be with you but it's all hidden you know it's like they're trying to strategize they're trying to make you feel that they don't give a shit to you but deep down they're just making an ass out of themselves is what i'm getting here they're not even making a choice out here two of swords is telling me that this person here is wearing a blindfold they refuse to make a decision because they know that if they make a decision here it's going to be them who's going to be responsible to make that choice and whatever circumstances they got to face so now i'm getting here that because there could be an ego tussle there could be a stalemate okay you want something they want something okay you boys both are clearly not on the same page and they know that if they want to be with you they got to be on the same page with you and that is something that they got to bear a lot of compl- uh, consequences or there could be a lot of compromise that they have to make in order for them to come towards you so right now they put their foot down you're not talking to them you put their foot down and there's like this you know budge fest going on right now is what i'm getting here which is why they're not even making a choice i feel they're the one who needs to reach out to you and i feel you block them i don't know take it how it resonates here let's see what's the two of swords here and i also feel that they're very okay where they are you know not in a bad way but in a way where they're financially very successful they could be doing very well in their career their business uh, you know they could be the center of attraction out here fuck my hair they could be the center of attraction out here okay but uh, they're just very abundant in a place they're coming from a place of abundance out here they're not coming off as clingy or needy out here okay which is why they want to taking that they, they want you to take it their time what's the two of swords here what's the two of swords here let's see why they're not making a decision 
Okay. So now, <clears throat> judgment, uh, justice. I feel that this person here uh, needs to make a very, very logical, a very practical, firm decision. Okay. Either this person here needs to make a decision about uh, marrying you. That's one thing I'm getting here. Or this person needs to make a very firm decision about completely cutting you off. See, that's what I said, right? They are they are presented with two very, very vague and very, very um, strenuous decisions. Either they commit to you or either they be with you for good. Because I don't think you're someone here who's going to tolerate any nonsense or tolerate any kind of bullshit approach. So they know if they come towards you, they got to give you what you want, which could be commitment from most of you. And if they don't, then they got to completely cut you off. So what this person is doing is neither are they cutting you off completely, nor are they giving you the, the commitment or what you want. They're trying to be very diplomatic out here. Okay, by wearing a blindfold and trying to think that, you know what, probably the solution will just play out in their favor and they don't have to do anything about it. So right now they know that they love you, but they're just being very stubborn out here. Okay, and uh, they're just like, you know what, I don't even want to see what's going on here. But uh, they're just being very logical right now. They're not trusting their intuition. Their intuition is probably telling them to come towards you, but they're not trusting their intuition, trusting their logic and just trying to stay very balanced. Okay, with the temperance here again. Now, with the uh, devil out here as overall energy, for a lot of you, this could be a third party situation. Either you're dealing with someone who's already dealing with someone else, okay, or you're dealing with someone who's already married, or you're dealing with someone here who probably that family could be a problem, tradition could be a problem. There is an external factor that could be keeping your person restricted from coming towards you or giving you what you want, okay? That's what I have for you. Hope this reading resonates, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye. See you next time. Bye bye. Next time. Bye bye. Next time.